everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. I hope everyone is having a great Saturday. I'm sure this video will come out on a Thursday. I have some um, cool colors today and I have a lot of 20 by 20 frames that I got and I want to be able to um, use those frames. So I'm going to start doing some flower pops on my 20 by 20 inch canvas. Um, because I, I really, they're nice frames and I want to use them, but I notice this isn't very level. I'm gonna have to put a popsicle stick, I guess, on this. Okay, maybe that's better. Um, so I have Blick. This says no name on it, and that is because it was on their clearance. They forgot to mark it. Um, I believe it's it's got a pearl in it, but it's um, it is a Blick. So. Then next I have a Blick Cobalt Turquoise and Teal and White, three colors mixed. Then we're gonna be using Amsterdam Reflex Rose, Blick's Namethal, Napoleon, whatever, <laughs> Naphthalin, Blick Crimson. And okay, next color is Amsterdam Reflex Rose, Blick Crimson, and Quinacridone Rose Pearl by um, Amsterdam, I guess. Here it is, three colors. The next one is, Ma. this is Magic Fly, and this is um, Lilac, it's called Flore Fluorescent Lilac Purple, and Pebio Opaque Vivid Pink, and Iridescent Blue Violet. So I, I mixed a bunch of colors this time. This is Magic Fly. This is a brand that I had a whole bunch of these bottles, and they have kind of a, shift to them so i want to get rid of them so let's try it um this is midnight blue and it has a squirt of blick fluid um prussian blue and then i have magic fly mysterious purple okay okay so here's what the magic fly look like they're small bottles this one is azure blue um, i have not used them i've had them for a while never opened them i said you know what let's try to um Let's try to get rid of them. So I guess I haven't really decided what I'm gonna swipe with, but because I'm using um, a white frame, I might I might go ahead and swipe with white today. We'll see. Let's see how this looks when I get all the paints down. I love these containers, but golly, the lids are very tight. All right, I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. And we're gonna start, such a beautiful color. Do you see the shift in that? I see the purple shift. I think this is gonna be beautiful. All right, we're gonna go with the magic fly. And I am going to show you up close. You can see the shift of pink in there. So maybe these will be beautiful, I don't know. Um, we're gonna see, we're gonna find out. I think these colors are gonna look great together. Who knows, they've been sitting on my shelf for so long, I might end up loving them and wish that I'd use them sooner. Okay, the next one, decisions. Let's go with the um, cobalt turquoise. And this is cobalt turquoise and teal and white. Boy, that toned it down quite a bit. Okay. I didn't want to mess up that pink and purple together. It was beautiful, but I got to have some contrast in these. Okay. Next, we're going to go with the no name. It literally is a tube that has no name and it is beautiful. Can you see that? There is a sparkle to it. I wish I'd ordered more than one. If you go on to Blick, they have a clearance um, tab, and that's where I found this. And um, I just love these colors. Then we're gonna go with this one. Beautiful. I thought about swiping with this color. Hmm, nah. I'm just gonna drizzle this a little bit. Beautiful. Okay. 
And then I've got my another magic fly here. And again, I'm gonna show you, they all have kind of a shift. This one, not as much, but I am not going to really put a ton of this dark in there, just enough to give it some contrast. And I, I like it in glops kind of because then when I, it is sinking, so it's a little bit thicker. I should have added water, but that's okay. All right, let's spread this out. I'm gonna lose a lot of paint here, I think. Tip this, I'm gonna run some of this off the corner up there. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, look at these colors. Let's go over to this corner. There we go. Beautiful. I love so I'm gonna use the blue as my swipe line. I put a very thick line down. Sorry, my camera went off. And now I'm go I've decided to use paper towels instead of plastic. Paper towels, the blue will sink in and I'll just get more of the um, colors mixed with the blue. When I do the plastic, it's a surface pull. All right, this is difficult when it's this long. Gotta make sure it's the full on fully. Let it set, can you see? And we're gonna pull, here we go. Just gonna pull across that paint, lift up as you go. And I think that was a good pull, perfect. All right, we're gonna take what's left here, put it on the line, right? Okay, there we go, almost there. We're gonna get some off here at this corner. We're gonna come back to this corner. Don't want that on there. Go. Decide what's going to be the top and what's going to be the bottom. I will see you there. Okay, now that we've decided we're going to keep some of those cells at the top, I added a lot of white. And I really want to be able to put some contrast because this is a very busy background. And I'll probably play around with that white and bring it up into the flower as we go along. And my white is actually just uh, Blix White. I do like their paints now. They've been working very well for um, the petals, uh, separating them and the stems. So again, I'm going through and just going to play around with Puffy and drag some of that white up into the flower. And because it's going to have a white frame, I really want some of that white to, to stand out. That way, when it's in the frame, it'll really pop. So let's get to um, creating the rest of these flowers. I will see you there.
Okay, let's go down for a close-up. Look how vibrant and beautiful um, these flowers are. There's some cells going on, too, a little bit in the center of that flower. I love that. And um, I'm really liking these colors together. It is a busy flower pop, but when I put it in the white frame, I think it's really going to make a huge difference. I love the cells. Um, I love it when I get just minimal cells like right here look at that so so pretty this is just a beautiful flower pop I cannot wait to show you there's the dried results and here we are in the white frame it looks so great in any um, any style frame actually this is a, a frame from art space but the white frame is probably my favorite all right, everyone, I appreciate you watching, everybody that continues to follow. I just want to say thank you, thank you so, so much. If you haven't subbed, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Till next time.